Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Elizabeth Reeser! Elizabeth Reeser! Happy sir! Happy birthday, Elizabeth Reeser! I will soothe you. Everybody, welcome to Manipulation Monday. Susie here. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. And what way better to start off the week with some awesome manipulations? Okay, I really liked Amy's idea last week, having a main theme. And for some reason, all weekend long, Breaking Dawn was on my mind. So, of course, when I made my videos for Monday, I said, I have to find some awesome Breaking Dawn art to show you all it's important, I must accomplish this. This first art piece, I have to leave a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, it's not exactly PG, and you'll see why. It's no, it, there's no nudity exactly in it. Their, their more important parts are covered up. But if, if you're easily offended by nudity then you don't have to skip you, you can skip this you can skip this one if you want to but it's really beautiful and I don't suggest you skipping it it's not dirty or anything it's actually very beautiful and very passionate so here's your first piece okay so now you know what I was saying it isn't exactly PG um, you can see Bella's naked back this is by a girl that I found on LiveJournal. Her screen name is Mayhem Monty. Um, her link will be over in the sidebar. It's sort of a unofficial Breaking Dawn poster. If they ever put this as a Breaking Dawn poster, needless to say, I'll probably pass out. But I am going to zoom right about now so you can see it a little better. Obviously, this is a very intimate embrace from their more secluded time on Isle Esme and there is a bit of writing right above them it's from a very passionate line in the book and yeah that's I mean there's really not much else to say about this it is very beautiful very passionate the girl who did it is very talented because once you look a little closer I'm gonna leave a link on the sidebar once again you can definitely see that the embrace is very passionate and the art is very flawless. So to Mayhem Monty, I give three apples. Good job. The second and third art pieces of artwork are both also digital manipulations and they're from the same artist because I had so much trouble finding good manipulations that were realistic looking and that I actually liked that I had to go with this artist more than once. So here you go. This artist I also found on LiveJournal. Her screen name is Angie Swenson. This is obviously a digital manipulation of Bella and Renezme. This is what I love about digital manipulations. How you can take pictures of celebrities or not celebrities, regular people, and fuse them together to make something so beautiful. And that's what this is. Bravo, Angie, because this is flawless. I love the look on Kristen Stewart, Bella's face, the look on the baby's face, very Renezme, very focused, like she knows exactly what's going on. And she, it looks as if she's just about to touch Bella's face and relay her day. I absolutely love it. So this one, I give four apples. Now this right here is my pick of the week. I love this so much. The contrast of the focus and unfocused, just the love in Edward's eyes is just beautiful. The sleeping peaceful baby, how he stays up and he, he doesn't sleep and she does and she's in such peace and he can read her thoughts and her dreams. Bravo, Angie. Bravo, Angie Swenson. This gets five apples. 
Bravo. I absolutely love it. Link will be over in the sidebar. The answer to the question of the day. I asked you Friday, other than Jacob, who is your favorite wolf in the wolf pack? And we got some really awesome answers. And everybody that I saw that gave answers chose Seth Clearwater. And surprise, surprise, he is also my pick. I told you last week that I had a list from least to best, and and hopefully if you were listening, when I showed you the picture of Paul, I said that he was my third favorite wolf. Well, Seth Clearwater is my second favorite, and Jacob is my first. My least favorite wolf is Sam Yuley. I don't know why, I just never liked Sam. Even though he was there for Bella, when she went all catatonic in the woods after Edward left her. Because, you know, if it wasn't for Sam, God knows what'll ha what would have happened to her. But that's really the only part of Sam that I like. I like his fiance Emily, much more than I like him, and she's not even a wolf. So, yeah, Seth Clearwater, all the way, definitely my answer. I absolutely love Seth. He's sweet, he's funny, he's generous, he's loving. He is just... An all-around great kid and you do you just want to hug him and squeeze him and tell him how much you love him question of the day it's gonna be another song pick I know I did one last week for if you could choose a song from your favorite scene in New Moon for the movie which one would it be but this time I'm gonna pick if you had to choose a song for a pair of characters that you really loved they don't necessarily have to be a couple I mean here's a good example like Edward and Emmett, sort of like a brotherly song. You know what I mean? Hopefully you know what I mean. But they can be any kind of pair. But as long as it's a song that kind of represents two people. I know most people are going to do um, an Edward and Bella answer. But you don't have to do an Edward and Bella answer. Whatever answer you feel comfortable with, you shout it out here in the comments. Down below. If you had to choose a song for a pairing of characters in any of the four books. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to necessarily be Breaking Dawn because just because I'm on some sort of weird Breaking Dawn riff. Which characters would it be? Which pairing would it be? And what would the song be? Tomorrow's going to be really special because where there's not a whole lot of New Moon news right now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So <laughs> hopefully you all will enjoy it. So, there's a little yellow button right up there. It says subscribe. Go to the subscribe button. The subscribe button is your friend. Subscribe. Till tomorrow, be safe.